How's it going guys? So today I am going to explain to you how to fix the speedometer on your E36. So I, I had this problem a little bit ago. So everything is working now but uh, so before the speedometer would not work. So the first thing what you want to try and hopefully that uh, it works for you is underneath on the diff I'm just going to turn this light on here it'll probably be easier to see on this car but underneath onto the differential right here is a speed sensor so first thing what many people do when their bomber stops working you fix that most of the time it will be that on the rare occasion that it's not you're most likely then dealing with a cluster that does not work so I next to that I put this cluster in it and from that car over there into this car here but it still did not work so that led me to believe that it's not the speedometer, it's not the speed sensor, so there's one thing left that it could be, it's the wiring. So, basically, what I did was I started on the speed sensor end. You can start on either end, if you want, whatever you want. I don't know, I just found this, this side easier. So, I basically stripped back all the heat hosing up here cut these wires uh, I can't really show you it on that one but basically I went to my local uh, hardware store and got some uh, I used 18 gauge wire you can use whatever you want and then uh, basically I spliced them in here I used like I only had blue wire for both so it's kind of difficult routing them through the car telling which is which but it be is best if you use two different colors of wire. Basically, you splice them into this plug. And what first, what you want to do is uh, like just plug it in, like put the wires in here. Just like run them underneath the car through like the back door, the side door to the cluster, just to see if it works first. Because if it's not that, then it, I don't even know what it could be. But just do that, just to make sure it works first. So then. You, once you do that, you of course don't want wires hanging around everywhere. So, to the closest place, which these old speed wires went up through the chassis too, is right on top, you can't even see it, it's such a tight place up there. Right above the diff, up in this like hole kind of thing, like up back in here, you'll feel there's like a rubber, rubber grommet, and the wires, you put it through there. What I did, now we can actually go this car. So, what I did was, like under here, that's just for your flat back there, there's this rubber grommet right there. That is where all the wires come through. I took a screwdriver in there and I like, uh, I just popped that whole thing off because it's a lot easier to find like with your fingers to push the wires from up underneath. Uh, I had a friend help me with that to pull the wires through. That's probably the easiest thing because uh, yeah it's pretty difficult. The next thing, if, if possible, which would probably be the best, is routing the wires underneath like here. But that's like really tight. So I ended up just, uh, like these are the two wires I used here. So I ended up just uh, putting them through the back. I'll show you where I routed them in through. Okay, so in here, so like that's the grommet right there. And then I wired them right through here you can see them right there 
then they came down here and then they go underneath the seat and you'll see when like when you take that off I don't want to take the seat off because this side of the seat is very difficult to get back in and uh, yeah so basically it runs all the way under here right down here and when it gets to down here this uh, trim piece comes off and like this it's kind of this like the clip under here is broken so it kind of stays off anyway but uh, you can see the wires like that, those blue wires right down in there so I ran them all along here then through here same thing Clips work on that one too. Anyway, this part I, I could have done it a lot cleaner, but uh, I was actually kind of running short on wire. I had about 25 feet of wire to use, so uh, and it was like it was just cutting it. Like the wires in the back, they're they're really tight back there. So the next thing is I, I ran like kind of through this here, really didn't do anything. I just hold it tight. It came up underneath the dash, and you can't really see through here, but uh, there's like it, it, you'll find the space. I'll go show you on this car over here because uh, that cluster is already in. I'll show you the what plugs you want to splice it into. This car is kind of a mess. That door doesn't open. Anyway, so this plug, this black plug, like when you see when you take your cluster off, it'd be this black plug, then the blue plug in the middle, and the white plug on this side. This one, if you, so basically what you want to do is take off this whole locking mechanism thing and that, how you do that is there's this, uh, There's like this, uh, oh geez, little clip thing right here. That just kind of uh, pops off here. Oh geez. Okay, so now that I got that little tab off the bottom there will be uh, right along here just like on this one there's like a zip tie uh, I had, had to cut that off camera because I couldn't do it with one hand anyway this whole clip thing system just falls right out there so now you have this left so you can't really see on here but there on this side there is numbers labeled 1 to 6 and the other side from 7 to 12 so basically the positive wire which is the brown and red one from factory which you'll see the brown and red one is the positive to the speed sensor and that is in pin number 4 so pin 4 is the positive from the speed sensor the Pin number three is the black and brown one. That is the negative from the speed sensor. So just remember that when you're splicing these wires from here to put them into the back of the speed sensor back there, that the red one, like just brown and red one to the brown and red one in the back, it's all good. So basically how I ran the wires you still probably can't see, but down under in there, that is where it ends up at the back of the dash right here. I can't open this door to show you because this door doesn't even open on this car. This was just a parts car. So that is basically you just pop this back in and it'll say on the casing. Oh, I can't really see, but it says on the casing here, right on the end here what uh 
what direction to put it in so you won't, don't mess it up because then the plugs will go in backwards into the car and that wouldn't be very good. So one to six, one to six goes in this way. And you just wanna pop your little plate here. It'll have like a, a closed end, an open end, you just put the open end on. I'm not going to be able to do this here. There we go. And just push that on. There you go. And basically, plug it back in the speed sensor, flip the clip down, and plug your other plugs in, obviously. And then it should be good. So, remember, first step. When your speedometer is broken on an E36, speed sensor in the back, that's the most common problem with the speed sensor, or with the speedometer not working. Uh, so speed sensor in the back, number one. Number two is the actual cluster itself. And then last but not least, the wiring. And when, you're, when you are wiring it, there the wires that go from this plug to the speed sensor in the back, there is no relays or anything. It's just a straight wire from the speed sensor to this plug. So that just even makes it more simpler. Uh, if you want to try actually following this wire underneath the car, because if, if you don't want to route the wire along the side, or where, you can route the wire wherever you want. That's where I routed it. If you don't want to put a new wire in, just want to find the brake, I, I highly do not recommend it because back here is just a mess and then it goes they come it comes like back behind under the stereo in the dash it goes right down the middle of the carpet so you, you basically have to take the whole carpet out on this side if you want to get that uh and then it it's it's just and it's just a huge just bundles of wire under the driver's seat that's where like the main source for all the interior wires are coming into the firewall back here of the car so it's just, it's a mess. So I highly just recommend if it comes to having to do the wiring, which is the most difficult step to do in preparing your speed, your speedometer, uh, I highly just recommend uh, putting new wiring in. And I didn't even bother taking this old wiring out in this car. I just left it dangling back there. I, I just used electrical tape to tape it up. Uh, I would definitely solder it. Because, uh, of course, whenever you're working with wiring that you want to last a long time, you do want it to last a long time and not just electrical tape it up, and that wouldn't be too good. So, that is how to fix your speedometer on an E36 with three different steps. So, thank you very much, and stay tuned for more content.